in the dark what? Glow in the dark what? That's right, glow in the dark nail wraps. We've got glow in the dark nail wraps that are perfect for Halloween. And guess what comes out tomorrow? Guess what's coming out tomorrow? So these are our glow in the dark nail wraps. The little ghosts are so cute and they glow in the dark. And tomorrow we're coming out with glow in the dark juniors, yay! I don't know why they didn't come out with juniors first. Like who wouldn't love to have their nails glow in the dark? But little kids, right? So these are our glow in the dark juniors. I'm gonna put some on tonight for you guys. And so um, to show you how I do it again, um, if you guys, first time, uh, my name is Jennifer Kirchner and I sell Jamboree nail wraps. And uh, basically Jamboree is everything that you need for your nails to make them look amazing and gorgeous. And I love it. And then we just introduced gel nails now. And I actually have not put wraps on in a while because I've been doing gel for so long and I just freaking love the gel. It's amazing. Um, and so here, I gotta get all festive for Halloween. So we got these little ghosts and they glow in the dark. I was trying to see if I could like show you that they glow. Can you kind of tell that like, if I go too much, I can't. Anyways, they are freaking adorable and here we go. Okay, so first step one is always prep. Always, always prep. Step one, prep your nails. So what I've done is I have pushed my cuticles back, pushed them all the way back with a cuticle pusher. I have um, smoothing base coat on my nails. Let's see if I can get the light on them. And that actually just helps um, smooth out any wrinkles that I have. And so I am a peeler. And so I peeled my gel nails off and that leaves, kind of ruins your nail a little bit, which is not good. Don't do that. Um, and so putting that smoothing base coat on helps. And then I also just love that it gives a little protection from having the wraps on your nails because these are salon quality, which means that they adhere to your nails really well. And so if you peel them off, like I do in like boring meetings at work, um, it, they will tear your nail off with it, which is no good for anybody. So my, so prep, 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 right? So we're gonna swipe our nails with alcohol. And I'm gonna do my little pinky for you guys. So I'm gonna swipe this with alcohol, but if you don't have alcohol wipes, um, make sure you wash with Dawn soap so you can get the oils off. This is my new secret weapon. New secret weapon. Actually, I've had it for a long time because I've done gel nails through red carpet. That was my gel nail set that my husband bought me like three years ago and I've used it ever since. But this is a prep and basically it is a nail adhesion sanitizer, just like it says. And um, it is amazing. I just, I'm gonna, all you do is basically just alcohol in a bottle but it's awesome. It's got a little more stuff in it too, but I'm just gonna paint it on top and it'll dry as, and it'll be good. So that'll just dry because it's, like I said, alcohol and I'm gonna pick, I don't know if I wanna do pinks or black. I mean purple, not pink. Purple or black. I think I'm gonna do some black. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is make sure that you get the one that matches, that fits your nail, right? You don't want any of the nail wrap to go onto any of your skin or onto your cuticle. That's why we push the cuticle back. So I wanna make sure that I know that this smallest one fits my pinky this like perfect. Um, if this is too big, go ahead and take your scissors and cut it down just a little bit, cut down the edges. So on this ghost, I would make sure that I just cut down the side that he's there, yeah. Uh, and let's get started. So second step after prep, is now you're gonna look, prep your little nail guy. So. I'm so glad that my nail's long enough that the ghost stays all the way on him. So I'm going to look and see that my nail kind of ends right at the L on ghouls, if you can see that. So I'm just going to... Yeah, they are totes adorbs. I agree. So I'm just going to cut him off. Just cut him. Make a cut. I don't know if you can see that. Yep, cut. And then we're going to grab with our orange stick, this guy. And I'm just going to grab it off. And I am doing what's called the cold method, which means I'm going to apply my little ghost cold. And so I'm gonna put them on my nail. I'm gonna start my heater. We got our little Jamberry heater here. Sorry for all the shadows. Um, I'm gonna turn him on. He's super quiet and I love him. And we're gonna put this little ghost guy on my nail. What I do is you're gonna line it up so that you don't have anything touching your cuticle or your skin, right? I'm gonna put them as far down as I can without touching. And see, so I just kinda of set it there. I'm gonna press right on the center. Just that, press on the center and you're good. And then from there, take the head off the orange stick. 
and I'm going to go from, I'm going to use my cuticle pusher. Whoa. Just a second. And then I'm going to push from the middle out. And from the middle to the other side. I'm going to do that up here. So from the middle out, middle to the other side, and then all the way up to the tip. So these are heat and pressure activated, which means you can never put too much pressure on them. That's what I was trying to say, sorry. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna put a ton and ton and ton of pressure. And then I'm gonna heat it with my little Jamberry heater. So I pull this into the screen and heat for just like a couple seconds. And these, okay, so they actually gave us the tip that these apply kind of like the sparkly ones. These are the regular size ones, but the kid ones come out tomorrow and they're so cute. They have a row of ghosts and a row of like mummies and it's adorable. And they're available tomorrow at 10 a.m. mountain time. Okay, so I just heated it once, but like I was saying, these, um, they told us that to apply these kind of like the sparkly ones. So you don't want to overheat the glow in the dark wraps, okay? No overheating them. So I'm just pushing, I'm just putting tons and tons of pressure to see how much time I'm taking putting pressure on these things. Making sure they get on there really solid. Do you know what's really cool about these wraps? Is there's no formaldehyde in them. It was cool that they were able to make glow in the dark with no formaldehyde. That was really, really special that they were able to do that. Jamboree's all about having really nice nails for you. Can you see the little ghost? Freaking cute little ghost. Okay, so now while that one cools off, I'm gonna do the next nail. And we're gonna prep. Ooh. I'm gonna do my middle finger. So I'm just putting my secret weapon on. My little, Ooh, where's the title? There we go, prep. And as that dries, I know that the middle finger for me fits in this the third one. My nails do really well with um with how these are sized, so it works out really well. I, don't, I only have to cut my pointer finger. This one's way too big for it, so I cut that one down. But let's put little middle ghost on. So we're gonna cut them. So I'm kind of measuring to see where how it fits. I'm gonna cut just a little bit above where I saw. Where I eyeballed it. Get them off the orange stick. Make sure you don't touch the wrap because as soon as you touch the wrap, you're going to get oils on it. We don't want any oils on the wrap. So again, I'm just going to push right on the center, put it down, and push right on the center, and then take the orange stick off. And then I go from the middle, down, middle, down. Look at this cute. And so this one is a little tight um, fitting wise because it fits like perfect. So I make sure that I push that skin back as I'm pushing down, right? Make sure it's adhering to the nail, not any part of my skin at all. And what are these? How are these activated? Heat and pressure. So. I put ton and ton of pressure and then I'm gonna heat it for just a couple seconds. Okay. And again, they said treat these ones like you treat the sparkly ones, so don't overheat them. These are not like the regular gloss where you can kind of heat them a couple times. I'm only gonna heat them that one time and then probably one last time after I've um, got the tips off. So here we go. I'm just uh, seriously, again, pushing as far as hard as I can everywhere on my nail. Um, the first time I did a full set of Jamboree nail wraps, I did not push the um, the part near my cuticle hard enough, and I didn't push um, the tips hard enough. So I make sure now that I put a ton of pressure every time I do this. Okay, and now let's show you how to take off the excess. All I'm going to do is I'm going to file them off, and I'm just going to file in a... 45 degree angle like this. And I'm only gonna file down, never back up, okay? We're just gonna go down, 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 down. And I'm basically using my nail to get it to come off, like to, to 
hit against. Do you see that? So it's starting to come off. So the really cool thing about these glow in the dark wraps, besides the fact that they're freaking glow in the dark, is that you can um, put our gel system on top of it. So you can do a base coat and a top coat and they will still glow in the dark. Isn't that awesome? Just trying to get this little side corner off. And where'd it go? Oh, there we go. And look at that. One little cute ghosty fits perfectly on my finger. Isn't that adorable? And he's gonna glow in the dark. Yes. Maybe. I don't know if it will I don't know if it'll show you. Not very good lighting. Darn it. I'll see if I can take a picture after I'm done. Okay, and again we're just gonna go 45 degree angle and only file down. And look at that, that one came off really easy. Really nice, because it was a little bit longer of a nail. Look how cute that is, it's my little ghosty. So sometimes I have complaints that people say that they have like rough edges on their nails, on the edge of their nails, because they just filed, right? So what I like to do is just buff it. And the next day I'll just keep a buffing block with me and I'll just make sure I buff it enough that, um, that it's not rough. So I'm actually going on top of the nail wrap and just buffing the, the top of it. So it's kind of leaving a black mark on my thing, but that's okay. It still works. Okay, and that is how you apply Jamboree Nail Wrap. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and email me at jenlovesjams at gmail.com or guess what? You guys can check me out on Facebook. Look at that at facebook.com slash Jen's Jamberry Nail Wraps, right there. And I am gonna have a contest going. I have a truth or dare for you guys in very Halloween fashion. Let me see if I can find it. I kind of, I misplaced the wrap I was gonna show you guys. Do you know what? Stay tuned. I will come back and do a truth or dare competition for you guys. But check me out on Facebook at Jen's Jamberry Nail Wraps. Facebook.com slash Jen's Jamberry Nail Wraps. Or email me at, at um, jenlovesjams at gmail.com. I don't know why I like had a brain fart on that. Sorry, guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, go order these right now. They're $15 for one sheet. One sheet gets you two manicures and two pedicures. And the juniors come out tomorrow at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. And they're going to be freaking amazing. Thanks for tuning in.